Yeah, so guys, huddle up, okay? We're just gonna have a quick new minion orientation. His name is Mr. L, and he comes to us from one of our key competitors. Mmm, can't to say I'm impressed by the minion quality. No, indeed. No wonder you've been trounced up to now. You're like a junior minions. Junior? Come here and I'll introduce you to Fist Junior and his wee pal Slappy. Gosh, Mr. L, but didn't you get pretty spanked too? May so maybe you're the junior. Spanked, you say? Ho oh, oh, ho, I was a scouting him, a dear. He will be mine the next to time. Yes, and he shall know the fury of the one and only Mr. L, aka the Green of Thunder. I part time with the Guinea Force, you see, that's why I have the poses down the pata. But enough about me. I need to head to the repair bay for Brobot modifications. El Aether, huh? Though the man in red shall wield formidable powers, one shall stand against him. The man in green shall use the Chaos Heart's power to bring darkness to all. Bleh. So it is written in the Dark Prognosticus. So, what you're saying is, the man in green is our minion in training, Mr. L? What? That makes as much sense as beef and broccoli sandwich. Calm yourself, O-Chunks. Make ready. Count Black is sending you on a new mission. Ah, now that makes sense. It'll be me honor count. I, O-Chunks, swear to you, this hero's got a hot date with me feet. Chunks away! He, he wasn't even told where he's going. He's just like, go do something. And he's like, okay. My, aren't we hot-blooded? Well, well, I, I suppose that it is to be admired. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be on my way as well. Ciao! So poor little Mimi doesn't get in, get to be on the, in on the fun? This stinks. Yeah, I hate to seem like a whistleblower here, but O-Chunks may not... Actually, even Dementio, Mimi, and Mr. L may not be up to this. That hero's gone, gonna collect the pure hearts and come here. He'll come for you. Blehehehe. <laughs> All's according to plan. Count Black assures you. It's strange. Nobody ever, um, cherished the universe the way you once did. And yet, you've been made to destroy it. That's quite enough, Nastasia. If I could, um, I... You'd what? If only I could have, you know, been that girl. Things would have been different. She cannot be replaced. You could never hope to do so, Nastasia. Yeah, um, I'm very sorry. That just slipped out. To be sure, she is gone. Gone from all worlds, never to return. Poor Nastasia, man. That's rough. What? What are you thinking? There's no possible way. No one would allow it. If we can't be happy here, we must leave for a place that will accept our love. But, Blumiere, is there such a place? Think, I can't bear to see you hurt again. If our love has no home, let us spend our lives searching together. So, I beg you, beg of you again, Timpimi. Marry me. I promise I will make you happy. You just won't give up, will you? Of all the crazy, stubborn, foolish men. Timpany, answer me, please. Blumiere, I love you. Take me away. Take me to a world where we can be happy. <laughs> and we're greeted with the sweet lullaby of having 6 HP. Now we've gotten five pure hearts. This is turning into the quite the collection. Gwaa! What'd I tell you, huh? You've got the king of all evilness on your side. You can't go wrong. Ah. Yes, yes. <laughs> that said, we owe Squirps for helping us find this one. We should be grateful. Say, Tippy, something seems different about you recently. You seem a little bit more cheerful. It's a nice change. You think so? 
Well, ever since you saved me from Fort Francis, I've been feeling really good. I feel like I could just hang around with Mario forever. <laughs> me? <laughs> Once again, my hand! Oh, so you're all back. How was it this time, then? Did you find another pure heart in outer space? I mean, we hadn't failed yet, so the assumption is uh, is pretty safe to, to make. Yes, we found the fifth pure heart. And this one... Urk! Um... Huh? huh? What? Tippy! Or shall I say Tippy? What has happened? All of you, come to my house at once. Hurry now. <laughs> as, as I eat her, it's the safest place to be in my mouth. Very well. Let's all take a breath and gather ourselves here. I'm concerned. Tippy may be unable to maintain her pixel form for much longer. Her pixel form? What in the world does that mean? Well, you see, Tippy was not always a pixel. I found her in her true form, exhausted, cursed to wander through dimensions forever. She was hanging on by a thread, barely alive, so I took a desperate measure. Using my ancestor's magic, I transformed her soul into a pixel, and this Tippy was born. I can hardly believe it. So, where is Tippy from originally, then? She had lost her memory, so I have no idea who she is or where she is from. But I can't help thinking she did not come here by chance. Fate connects us by a thread, which is ironic because she was hanging on by a thread of fate. The irony is not lost upon me. But anyway, and my intuition in this area is rarely mistaken. <laughs> Bowser's arms. You can't not point that out. The void has grown larger, and these tremors have become common, I'm afraid. Our situation grows more dire by the moment. Will the events written in the Light Prognosticus really forestall the foretold doom? I will watch over Tippy. Young heroes, take the pure heart. Find the next heart pillar. And we will do that now. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time. What happened last time? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, Mr. L. We fought Mr. L, and it was uh, it was quite a brilliant experience. It was it was actually quite a blast. Uh, I don't think I've had that much fun in an area thus far. So it was it was pretty fun. And since then, I've gone camping once again. We caught some crab. I forgot to eat the crab because I was full, and I just didn't never got around to it. So it's kind of sad. But. Now, I am here and I am ready to record with 30 HP, and this time, unlike all the previous times where I've been like, where do we go in Flipside? I don't know! <clears throat> this time, first of all, I will start by uh, apologizing for those times where I was completely uncomposed, and we will find the place, because I know where it is. I just have to remember where it is. Um, the past couple times we've been here, there have, there has been a crack in the wall that has vexed me so, and I believe it's right down here. Um, and now we can use, what is it, floop? Yeah, we can use our new pixel to go through there. And, yeah, so we're going to be doing that. We're going to be meeting in the sun. There's like a bridge behind there, if I recall. Uh, is it right? It's right over here, right? I mean, I can see houses back there, so I believe, yes, there it is. And we can go through. Uh... Switch over to Fleep. Fleep, that's his name. Uh, the crack is right here. And I'm pretty sure we can just do this now. There we go. It's a. Oh, that was kind of unexpected. It's a button. Aha! There we go. We can go through the bridge now. So, where does this lead us, though? There's another door. And that will bring us... What? Oh! Wait, is it... Oh my word! Oh my word, I can finally use that hint that we discovered so long ago! Eight color blocks, each color once, if, if I can... If I recall that correctly. Also, is that Link? Kinda looks like Link. Okay, so eight color blocks, 
each color once. Uh, I assume, yeah, no. What does this do? Okay, so this switches it back and forth. It's one of these puzzles. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Okay, let's hit that. Hit that. Hit. No, 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 let's not do that. Hit that. What does this do? I, I just kind of uh, brought us in a little circle there. Um, this, plus that, plus that, plus this, plus that. I'm not actually sure if I'm solving anything here. Good. I'm trying to get all these out. If I can do this, though. Do that. Uh. Hey! I did it! I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm just good at puzzles, or I did it completely accidentally. I believe that it's the latter. But I did it. And actually, while, I'm, while I can uh, have time to talk, I just noticed there's no music. Yeah, there's no music here, which is really eerie. So I'm wondering what I'm I'm getting myself into. There's like a secret place. Did I just go out the door I came? No, I didn't. Oh, flop side. Oh, I almost jumped off the thing. Flop side. Okay. Um, so we haven't been to this area before at all. Let's talk to the first person that we see. See what they say. Oh, dearest grandmother, what must I do to live as long as you? My dear, I believe you must eat what you like and don't eat what you don't like. That is the secret to a long life. How very fascinating. Grandfather said that too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that explained a gigantic bucket of nothing. So, what about you? That house, I don't think anyone lives there, but I hear voices. Do you think maybe, possibly, or impossibly? Can it be? If it is so, then why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, you're sketchy. Ah ha ha, not to brag, but I just so happen to be a best-selling novelist. <laughs> this voice is unintentionally racist. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Grodus Chronicles? I created that epic cartoon. Mmm, yes, and of late, my mind positively brims with ideas of the most... <laughs> most quality. I've hit all of my deadlines for the next five years, so I can spend my time at the leisure. Okay, I have no clue what that voice was. I'm pretty sure it, at first it was it was just kind of a racist Asian-y voice, and then it it quickly devolved into German, and then Irish or Scottish? So I don't know. Also, where do I go? Oh, I can go through here. Okay. Go through here before I take damage. Not like damage really matters in um in flip side, I guess flop side too, because I can just sleep it off, but whatever. Would you care to hear my little song? Ooh la lullaby, the singer that is I, and the songwriter is my guy. <laughs> we create tunes, two united, sung and music rated. But one more than me, and the music that we made, my guy's true love is the orchid. <laughs> Ooh la la lullaby. <laughs> but now all alone I sing, close to my heart, my memories cling. That was not a song. That was like, Ugandan rap lullaby. Why is it Ugandan? I don't know. Oh hey. You're, you have a mustache. You must be important. Ah, well, here you are, hmm? And where did you get in from, huh? This is no place for someone who cannot appreciate the art. Someone like Voos. Voos? I, I don't know. I think you had better leave, go away, take off scoot, be gone, huh? <laughs> sure. Papa shoots the date from the hip, as people say. And that is because he hurts the feelings of people close to him. 
That is what mama said. That's it's very profound. Um, those are words to cling to in the hard times that when the people hurt the people mama said. That's exactly what I, I think of on a daily basis. Hey you, ever try uh, Dillis's spicy pasta dish? So spicy, but so good. The pasta's al, al dente? I don't know. It'll make you scream with joy. Absolutely scrumptious. You should definitely try some. Okay. I mean, the spicy pasta sounds good, but I'm not sure that's what I need right now. My classroom's into, or my classmate's into cards. And boy, am I getting sick of this. Sick of it. Uh, stupid cards aren't fun. Still, I have to admit, the pictures are kind of cool. Oh, fine. Uh, I'll, I'll get into this stupid, stupid trend. I'll just pick up a couple. That's how it starts. You pick up a couple packs, and then you get addicted because you pull, like, a mythic, and your friend's like, that's a mythic! And you, you pull it, and you never stop buying cards. It's, that's why they call it Cardboard Crack. A hole in the sky, you say? I don't care. Don't matter to me, whippersnapper. You think anything that happens now affects my life at all? Pa! I've been alive for 80 years, for toad's sake. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could live for 90 years. Unless you're one of those people who wants to go on your, uh, go out with your boots on. Hi. Why, it's been 60 years since Harold and I were married. Impressive, huh? A lot can happen in 60 years, unless you're us, that is. We were so poor when we were young. No fine meals or fancy clothes. Now our kids are grown. Things are easier, but now the world's in danger. This life of mine. What was the true meaning of it? Um, I suppose to collect plates with faces on them. Because that's an important thing in life. Whenever your friends come over, you're like, Come look at our plates with faces on them. Okay, oops. I guess I'm going here now. Also, since we found, uh... Flop side so quickly, even though we haven't really come across the heart pillar. I suppose it would kind of make the make sense for this to be a talking episode. Oh, whoa! Oh, it's it's gray old man. Uh, Bestovius. It is it Bestovius? No, it's not Bestovius. I always forget people's names. <clears throat> I welcome you. I knew you'd come by eventually. Ha <laughs> ha! I can see that you would like to ask where in the world we are. Ho ho ho, this place may seem like Flopside, but do not be mistaken. You were in Flopside, but then you flip flopped sides. Friends, you are in Flopside. Which means that I am not the Merlin you know. I am the Flopside version, a different Merlin entirely. You may call me Norem. <laughs> Norem? Really? Don't you see? Ours has always been a story of two towns. But the only ones who knew about this flip-floppery are Merlin and I. You seem a bit surprised. Ha ha ha. There is a front and back to all things, young ones. Now, the heart pillar is one floor up. Go and place the pure heart within it. See you later. For I am also known as Sean Connery. And I am the evil version of, Mo uh, of Merlin, because Sean Connery is actually an evil sorcerer, or a dragon, depending on who you ask. Oh, now, have you heard? They say that, that this ray flip upside will be destroyed. If it's gone, what am I to do? Maybe open a convenience store or something. Also, <laughs> that is not a man. That is a woman with that voice. That is quite special. Oh, man, this... <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I guess if that's a ma that's a woman, then this guy should have a woman's voice because it's opposite. Yeah, that works actually, because it's flop side. <clears throat> oh man, this town is just plain jumping with ladies who are just my type. <laughs> and at the top spot in the babe list right now is Inga the innkeeper. When she gives me that look, Zort, love shock. I love staying at the inn. I give it three stars on the love. Slimometer? Is that slimometer? Let's pretend it's the slimometer. But a word to the wise: pretty flowers have thorns. Be careful, or you'll get stuck. Got it, flowery-voiced man. You enjoy staying at the inn for probably more than five. It's probably ten coins because it's flops. Oh no 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 no! They pay you to stay at the inn. Haha. -ha. I. 
I am embracing the moon. Oh, wow, this game really is earthbound. It's like moonside. Oh man, that makes me happy. You know, what also makes me happy is well, first of all, the black themes. That's kind of cool. It looks, it's very edgy, but also the uh, talking to people <laughs> because talking to people is very fun. Wow, this is pretty. It's like slate or something you'd see in medieval eras. Also, didn't he say that that liar said that this was one floor up? I am one floor up and there is no heart pillar. Uh, I suppose I just time to, oh no, never mind. That was convenient. You know, I I, I had a sneaking sub suspicion that just like in um, the flip side, if you jumped off that, that one ledge, it would bring you right to the heart pillar. And I was right. I dig this tower so much, I decided to do a bunch of research on it. And I learned, somewhere in the universe, there's a white tower like this one. Did you hear me? White! Can you believe it? Black is timeless, classy. Black towers are the best! What? Blech. I mean, I won't really argue because this one looks pretty cool. And it, I can't really see it now. It looks pretty cool. Building something out of slate or... Let's see, what else could be black? black? There's black marble, but slate sounds way cooler. Because, do you, do you have any idea how cool that would feel? Just to walk through a slate building? Be all smooth, you walk through it barefoot on a hot day, it'd be awesome. Okay, um, <laughs> weird analogies aside, I am going to put, place the heart in the heart pillar, and actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, because while I would like to continue exploring Flopside, I would like to do that in its own kind of next episode separate thing, because there's a lot more to see. So we probably won't even be going to a world um, next episode. We're probably just going to be exploring Flopside a little bit more. And then maybe end it off with exploring a world, I don't know. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please, so oh, never mind. You appear to be performing your duties efficiently. I just got a message from Merlin. Tippy's been revived. They are waiting for you at the top of Flipside Tower. Hurry, you must go there. Alright. Now what I was... Yeah, yeah. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Super Paper Mario Tuesdays and Thursdays, unless, of course, I am making episodes late because I am unpacking from camping, then they're not Tuesdays and Thursdays. But, good news is, is that was my last major trip that I know of for the, uh, the summer, so episodes should be releasing on schedule from this point onward. So, Saturdays are periodically ABOs, and I'll see you guys next time for another Super Paper Mario, where we will probably, hopefully, explore Flopside a little bit more and get to know its citizens a little bit better. See you guys then!